Now joined by one of the general sports.com athletes of the week, it's Samuel Bass, the men's soccer team. Sam, last week, 2-0, you had a goal and an assist and an assist and a 1-0 win over Randolph at home, a goal and a win at Randolph Bacon on the weekend. What would you like most out of your team's perform performance over two games last week? Um, yeah, I thought they were really good performances. I mean, um, it was a good way for us to kind of bounce back after the, the previous week of suffering some ties. Um, and I think the team just got a lot of confidence from those two games, and hopefully it's something that we could build on. Um, but, but, yeah, um, we're getting, getting things um, more geared up, and, and we're excited. In the month of October, your team's given up just three goals over seven games. What has helped sure up the back end? Is it kind of the team defense, everyone buying in, strong play on the back line? What's been really the key to success defensively? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Coach a lot of times talks to us about team defense and uh, the importance of that. And I think our team, you know, has definitely been doing so. And a lot of those clean sheets speaks well to that. But also our back line I mean, has been playing really well, you know, with, with Charlie, Ty, um, PJ. You got Will Joe in the back and Willie out left and our subs. I mean, they've been putting in a shift every game. Um, and that, that's huge for us, especially if we want to extend our season and meet the goals that, that we want to um, – Complete, but it also comes, you know, we gotta, we got to find more of our attacking rhythm. And that's why I think this past week was, was good for us as well. I think it ran off Megan getting some more goals on the score sheet and just finding more rhythm, creating more chances was really beneficial for us and, and it's getting us more confident um, at the time that we need to be doing so. Yeah, you kind of talked a little bit about there, kind of finding an offensive rhythm. After going through those three games where you played two scoreless draws and a 1-1 mm -hmm. draw, what was the discussions with the team, you know, as a captain, something maybe you said to a couple of guys to like, hey, you know, we're still creating chances, we yeah. just haven't found the back of the net. Like, how do we get past that? Oh, definitely. I think it was, it was pretty tough because we were creating a lot of good chances, and I think even though we weren't scoring in a couple of those games, we could have at least easily had, I mean, three-plus goals. Um, and in training, we've been doing a lot more finishing and stuff like that, just trying to nail down those basics. Um, and just seeing the ball go in the back of the net more, it's helpful for players, I think, everyone, um, just to get a little confidence individually. Um, and that, that's huge. And I think, you know, the more games we play and the more goals we, we keep scoring, that, that's good for everyone and the team as a whole. Final regular season game Wednesday at Guilford. Your team currently sits in the top spot in the ODAC standings with one game remaining. How do you stay in that top spot heading into the conference tournament, which starts on Saturday? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, we, we control our destiny right now in terms of finishing the conference as the one seed. I think we had that opportunity um, the other week against Virginia Wesley, and, and we suffered a, a tie in that game, and I think it really woke some people up. Um, and we really got to take advantage of this opportunity that we have. Um, but we're excited. We know the importance of, of home field. I mean, the past couple of years of being able to host, not even in ODAX, but it, it gives us a chance to, if we can continue to play well, host potentially um, the NCAAs. But we got to focus one game at a time. Um, and, yeah, it's huge. I mean, playing at home with, in front of your fans, um, also just sleeping in your own bed and, and staying in Lexington, nothing beats that. So, Looking ahead to the conference tournament, yeah, it got started on Saturday. Still a game to play in between then, but you won a conference title your first season. Last couple of years haven't gone to yeah. plan, but being able to possibly be at home, you talked about that kind of home field advantage, but also is there almost some unfinished business, especially with the senior class? Uh, definitely, I think so. It's, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of hard to believe that we've only gotten one ODAC since our freshman year, um, and I think we're all just... You know, we've got a little extra sting in us, um, and we really want to want to get one one more of those because um, yeah, the, the past two years have been pretty frustrating, having early exits in the semifinals. Um, but yeah, we're we're pretty excited, and we're all getting geared up for it. But it starts with Guilford on Wednesday. Got to take care of business. He's Samuel Bass of the men's soccer team, one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week. Sam, thanks for joining us, and best of luck this week. Thank you. Now joined by one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week, it's Tess Munesis of uh, the field hockey team. Tess, coming off of last week where. You finished three games, you went 3-0, and and in one of those games, an overtime win against Roanoke on the road. You had the game-winning goal in that game. Kind of just talk us through the entire week and also that game-winning goal against Roanoke last Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, we had two pretty hard games last week. Both Roanoke and Randolph-Macon came out hard, uh, really wanting to take us down. And I think we had a little bit of, trouble like coming out as strong as they did like in the beginning of those games but in both we really like finished out strong um, especially in those second halves which I think made all the difference and that kind of fight is um, preparing us for our next hard game. Yeah being in a very like kind of close tight game where it goes to overtime what's kind of the message before overtime starts with the team and then being able to score quickly into the overtime? Yeah, so the thing with overtime, we really just have to get and maintain possession and try to score quick. Unfortunately, we couldn't start 
with possession in overtime. They won the coin toss, whatever, but we were able to quickly get that possession back after the start of the game and really use our bigger passes to get around them. They're a team that likes to swarm around the ball, and it's hard to do that when it's just like seven people on the field in overtime. So that's where our team's skill was really able to shine, and we were able to get a goal in the first three minutes of the game. So one of the other games last week was the conclusion of the Ferrum game. Kind of started two weeks ago, finally got to conclude it last week. And in the game, you record an assist, your 25th assist of your career, which puts you as the new program record holder for career assists. Kind of talk about that accomplishment. Does it mean anything special to you and what you've been able to accomplish over the last four years? Yeah, I mean, it feels great to have gotten that. When I tied the record, like, the game before, I kind of felt a lot of pressure to kind of get that in Ferrum, and it was hard with like kind of getting the assist when we started the game and like waiting another like week or two to have it count when we concluded the game. So a lot of relief when it finally counted, but everyone was really happy for me, which was awesome. And I don't know, I think it's a really cool record to have assists are more of like it's a really like, selfless kind of point to have, and I think it really reflects my like ability to be smart with the ball, make good passes, and create goal scoring opportunities for my teammates. So five straight wins for your team overall, all in conference play. Has something kind of clicked? What have you seen kind of improve as the season's gone along and now entering the final week of the regular season? Big game on Wednesday against Shenandoah here at home and then rounding out conference play at Bridgewater on Saturday. What are you guys trying to bottle up some of the, that momentum and kind of carry it through the last week of the regular season? I think what's made us really successful against these in-conference teams has been, one, our speed, and two, just our ability to like make quick flat passes and in and out passes to work it up the field. And that part, um, of our play really shines when we play at home with our faster turf. So that especially carrying into this Wednesday against Shenandoah, we're playing them at home. Everyone's really excited because we play so much better and our speed and passing just look even better um, on our own turf. So that's really going to help us be successful this Wednesday and then in general moving forward. She's Tess Munessis of the field hockey team and one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week. Tess, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.